Hey guys, what's up? It's Apollo here, and welcome back to Middle Earth. We are back playing Dawnless Days, the Lord of the Rings mod for Total War Attila. And today we've got a three versus three siege battle. Three armies of Mordor laying siege to a small Gondorian city, which is going to be defended by, of course, three Gondorian armies. There's going to be trolls, there's going to be orcs and epic soldiers fighting it out. So it's going to be a lot of fun, guys. Don't forget some snacks and drinks. Sit somewhere comfortable and enjoy the battle. Let's go ahead and just get this one started. Okay, so the walls have made it to... I'm sorry, the towers have made it to the wall. Mordor is attacking. They're sending... Look at this. They're sending some Olag high. They're bringing down the gate, which looks awesome. They actually can bring it down on their own. They use their big hammers. Let's watch them in action here. Uh, but yeah, the Gondorian defenders are actually putting up a light defense at the start here. Here we go. There they go. They can attack the walls like no other. So cool. So they're gonna they're gonna bash down those walls. Sorry, I couldn't think of the word. It's like brush down the walls. No, bash down the walls. Anyways, you can see they're going with a tighter defense. They're not holding the walls, so the walls are more or less a speed bump for Mordor, uh, which is risky because. You're not really forcing the attackers to exhaust any of their ammo. And you can see that Gondor has made a costly mistake. They're desperately trying to get their archers off the walls. I think he, originally they wanted them on the walls, but now they've they changed their minds and it's a bit too late. The Gondorian archers are going to be stuck up here, and it's just... Yeah, 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 that's what I'm talking about. They're caught out. We got Mordor. What is we got? The, uh, what are these? Mordor Raiders. So this is, they're weak against archer fire, which is good. But in close combat, they're going to chew up these archers. So we do have some archer support coming in from the Gondorian archers in the rear here. Trying to support them. Trying to get them out of there. But unfortunately, a good chunk of them will perish to the blades of Gondor, or the blades of Mordor. Uh, so not a good start for Gondor here, especially, you know, they're outnumbered by, what, 4,000 men? Ooh, this is a good target to go for. So with your archers, this is exactly what you want to do. This is the guards of the teeth. So it's the mouth of Sauron's personal guard, it looks like. It's a halberd unit, so they're pretty vulnerable to archer fire. And... Yeah, they're, but they're expensive, right? So uh, if you can kill them from afar like this, that's huge. They've already brought them down to half strength. That's how weak they are to archer fire. So this was a big mistake uh, of the Gondor player here to send this unit up first. It would have been better to send cheaper units up first so they can absorb that archer fire, uh, you know, as much as possible. Uh, looks like there's some Gondor infantry kind of lining up, ready to face Mordor here, but we've yet to see a collision of infantry. Gondor's just kind of waiting patiently, seeing what they're going to do. It's just they're setting up their forces. If we zoom out, the center army over here, I guess this would be the southern side of this settlement. There's a lot of S's there. Southern side of this settlement. Anyways, uh, uh, great, uh, great patience here. You know, they're just setting up their forces. And this is the issue of not defending the walls. It makes this very easy for the attackers. The trolls have broken through the gates. Look at, they just utterly smashed it down. And now they're taking control of the gatehouse, which is going to let all these troops just swarm in. Also, look at this. It looks like Mordor changed their idea here, their plan. They're going to go ahead and, and move down this wall and attack the other side, it looks like. Uh, I Oh, I know why. I mean, this is, this is a must. If you're not going to defend the walls, hopefully, if, if I'm one of the Mordor armies, I would send... I would pretty much send everybody this way because if you can take control of these walls... You can put archers up on these walls and fire down at the defenders who are holding the town center, which, of course, is this area right here. Let's go back over this way because it looks like we finally do have our clash of infantry. Gondor decides to charge in against uh, the Guards of the Teeth, which is such a funny name. And they're going to try to chop them up here, but it, it does look like they kind of reformed into a phalanx formation. 
but maybe they're going to try to flank around here. Possibly. They're forming a bit of a column formation with this line infantry, or pff, not line infantry, with this sword infantry, Gondor sword infantry. But it looks like they're just plugging the gap. They're not pushing forward, which is makes sense because if you tried to flank around these uh, guards of the teeth, the units over here would uh, would push in and, and counter surround you. You know, they'd counter flank. Now, big, back this way, we have multiple units of guards of the teeth of the Mortigul's raiders. These guys are all super vulnerable to archer fire. So this Mordor section of the army, this Mordor army that's attacking the, I guess this would be the uh, west side of the settlement. They are getting annihilated right now by the Gondor archers, which is great. Now, one thing to consider, one thing that's going to be very, very important trolls and oh speak of the devil the trolls are charging in on this side look at this trolls are also i wouldn't say the trolls are vulnerable to archers but archers do more damage to trolls than say swords so you want to make sure that you keep oh man look at this army you want to make sure you keep some of those trolls or some of those archers full of ammo to deal with the trolls because if you try to strictly fight the trolls with swords, it's going to be disaster. These trolls are going to end up getting a ton of kills, which already they have 31 kills. They're such a great disruptor unit as well. They can really disrupt the formations and help make a path into the lines. Let's see some of the units that are holding here. We do have some Pelagir Marines mixed in with Gondor infantry. Pelagir Marines are very good, especially against trolls. They have a lot of skirmish ability or, or capability, so they're going to focus fire on these trolls and hope that these guys start to go down pretty quick because uh, they really can rack up a lot of kills. Here we go. We got a little bit of a skirmish battle going on in the other section of the settlement. Orc Bow Rabble. Rabble. So they're opening fire, firing over this really cool wall over here that's separating them in the town center. And we've got Faramir, but he looks like he's having a tough time against these orcs. Oh, wow. Lots of... Oh, that's why. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is why it's so vitally important to not give up so much ground because he made it completely possible for all the uh, orc archers to encircle. Look at this. Encircle their position and just fire hate down on their defensive uh, units. So that is uh, turning out to be quite a disaster there. And hopefully the defenders, the good guys, can recover from this. But yeah, more and more forces pouring in. So the good news for the defenders is that I would say they've killed a big chunk of this Mordor army. Uh, it seems like they're now um, converging. They're, they're, they're moving their forces over to join the link up with the center army over here. So I just think that the orcs got smacked here, which again is something that's very promising for the defenders because they, they really need it. They're struggling uh, desperately. Oh, RIP. They're struggling a lot over on the other side of the settlement. So having a small victory like this is definitely worthwhile. They've got an orc unit surrounded here, which is promising. They just got to finish them. Um, they're kind of holding out pretty well. They're down to 45 troops. They're actually disengaging that unit. I don't know why. Maybe they're sending reinforcements over here. There's a big fight now over on this side. We've got the Servants of the Eye. This is a really good Mordor Cav unit, guys. I cannot stress how deadly of a Cav unit this, this unit is. Uh, because when you think of Mordor, you don't really think of cavalry. You know what You know what I mean? You don't really think of that. You think of orcs, trolls, and that's about it, right? Like, just lots of crap troops. The The advantage of Mordor is having a lot. You know, a lot of cannon rabble, cannon fodder. But they do have the Servants of the Eye, which is a deadly cab unit. And that could rack up a lot of kills if you're not careful. The Fountain Guard will do good work against them. And that is why, most likely, the Mordor general called back his cav so they don't get eliminated, annihilated by the Fountain Guard. 
So here we go. They are going to attack the walls here. We even have some orcs this way. Some Uruk throng. Very good infantry. Very elite. Uh, but they're going to go and attack this, uh, this wall over here. And we'll see what Gondor does. They've got... I think they got a fight here. I don't think they should let them take it because they could easily put archers up here. And they've already had to deal with so many archers. Now, this looks pretty promising over here. This orc rabble is getting focused down, I believe, by what? What is it? Something. Someone. I guess all the archers over here just focusing their fire. That's what they... Yeah, you got to get rid of these guys. It sucks to have to use so much ammo on archers, but these archers can do damage. And it is causing them to break. Let's zoom out, guys, and see what else is going on. In the center, things are getting insane. We've got three different directions the orcs are attacking from. And two of these uh, choke points are having to deal with orcs. Look at the carnage that is left on this, uh, this street. Orcs and men alike dead fighting this cruel war. The Olag High have only lost one. And they've killed 75 men so far. So, it really does start to add up, guys. And we're about halfway through this battle. There's definitely, from both sides, winning and losing. We got small victories from both sides. But so far, I would say that the attackers definitely have a uh, pretty solid advantage in this battle. Considering the difference in numbers. But they are trying to make it a little bit closer. But so far, not a lot of luck. They've got to get these trolls out of here with archer support. Whatever you can do. Maybe some pikemen as well. Whatever you... Any kind of projectile, you got to throw it at these Olag High if you want any chance of winning this one. There's a nice battle. And then you got to fight over here, which is a little bit calmer. If you're a Gondor soldier, you definitely want to be on this side because you're just dealing with orcs. Again, orcs are scary. The Uruk throng are very good, but they're not trolls. So I'd much rather be dealing with these orcs than say, you know, the Olag High that are attacking the other flanks. All right, so let's head back this way. It looks like there are some orcs that are going to continue to push on this side. We do have a general. Oh, no. Faramir. He's still alive, but he's about to run into some orcs. He's fleeing the city. This is very unlike Faramir from the books. Um, that's tragic. <laughs> so I don't know how Faramir got... I, I assume Faramir just got shot to bits by the orcs. They, they saw him on the battlefield and they specifically focused their fire... Now the fight is just unraveling into a mess over on this side. Once again, the servants of the eye are back at it again. Getting charges in, charges in, accompanied with the Uruk throng. And the Gondor swordsmen doing the best they can against these, uh, these orcs. But it, it just might be too much for them. Also in the center, it looks like this has been taken over. Wow, this is getting extremely laggy. Oh my gosh, let's... Something, something happened that created such lag. That is uh, probably the weakest part about this mod. Is it, Well, it's not the mod's fault. It's the game. It's Total War Attila. But usually you can fix it by zooming in. And so there's like less men on the screen. But yeah, they're holding back some orcs here. Uh, they're coming from the siege towers. Unfortunately, a lot of men are breaking against the Servants of the Eye. Which is a really... It's really desperate situation. Uh, more orcs are coming down this way. The center is starting to waver a little bit. And it does appear that Gondor is setting up more troops. Honestly, I think Gondor should fall back from this intersection. I think he's he just doesn't have the men to spare to try to hold every single direction here i think he needs to fall back and just hold this choke point here again it makes him a sitting duck to archer fire and that does suck but i just don't think he can hold over here these olog high are just too much too much for him
I mean, it looks cool as hell. I love the Gondor units stacked up like this. Fighting their hearts out. Here comes a charge of Axemen. Maybe the, the great axes can help penetrate that leatherly, leather, leatherly skin of the trolls. The Olag High. But yeah, it's it's been a tough fight for them. Again, if they can take out the trolls. How many trolls? Okay, the trolls are now half strength. So if they can defeat these trolls here, maybe there's a chance. But unfortunately, a bunch of Gondor units. Look at these poor men. They're like, we're done. We're sick of it. This could be the same army of Faramir. And maybe that's why they're breaking with so many units or so many numbers. Because Faramir has already broken on the battlefield. So their morale is crumbling. Also, it doesn't help the morale of the men fighting here against the orcs. When they see their own men breaking, running past them mindlessly into the orcs, orc lines. Which, uh, yeah, that's that's a demoralizing sight if you're the Gondor soldiers. So, the center definitely looks like it's going to be a problem. Archers are opening fire now. Look at this. The orc rabble. They're opening fire and they're going for the secondary line. And even though these men are pretty well armored, they've got good, big, giant kite shields. Unfortunately... They're still getting picked apart, uh, picked apart by the archers, and now, oh, now they're taking on the angry Olag High. This line is not going to last too long. They need to regroup. They need to reorganize. These men are going to get cut off. They're going to get cut off by this big blob of orcs coming through this way. Over on the other side, orcs are charging like mad. Look at this. Accompanied with the servants of the eye. Gondor is just not having any luck here. The balance of power is a brutal one. It's looking like it's heavily in favor of, of Mordor. Here comes more and more. Look at it. Oh, is that the Witch King? Oh, the... Oh... The Witch King. He hasn't even He hasn't even joined the fight yet. They still have to they have to fight a perfectly healthy Witch King. Oh jeez. Okay, yeah, Gondor just utterly shattered here. That's because the trolls broke through and got behind them. And utterly broke them. So Gondor really needs to fall back here. Save whatever like these men here, just fall them back retreat regroup because they're gonna get surrounded here make this your new line he's got these guys look awesome too the gondor spear infantry ready to make their stand this is great i can't believe this mod is like i think it's near like seven years old can you believe that that's crazy gondor sword infantry holding them back doing the best they can Back this way, more and more swords from... Look at this, Uruk Bodyguard, Uruk Throng. I mean, they don't even have any crappy orc units here. They're all professional deadly orc armies. So, uh, they're about to collapse. Let's get a bird's eye view of this. This is pretty drastic here. Maybe not that far up. But he's about to collapse on these Gondorians. They've got to fall back. They still have time, and just like that, they no longer have time. They're about to be sandwiched by the Uruk throng. Yeah, there it is. Boom. A tragic, tragic sight. There's no need to leave these Gondorians for the slaughter. No need for this. So they've got them surrounded. They got them grouped up. It's, it's, yeah. When you're on defense like this and you're dealing with uh, the lack of resources, like you have less money than your than the attackers, so you got to make every single unit count. And I feel like Gondor right now is not doing that. Yeah. 
We got a nice fight in the streets here. You got to... You, you can't blame the soldiers, though. They are given, they're giving it their all, fighting with their hearts, even though they're surrounded. Oh, how terrifying would this be, having to fight like this? And now we got a flanking unit of the Guards of the Teeth attacking the Peligur Marines. These Marines are going to have a tough time fighting these guys. You got to kill them with either flanking or hitting with arrows. But the positioning of these guys are fantastic because the wall kind of protects their flank against archer fire. And it also makes it harder so infantry can't get around them. So it's just a perfect position. Another Gondor unit breaks there. And now we're starting to see the orcs break through the Gondor defense. We do have some fountain guard, but unfortunately for them, the backs are going to be exposed. They've only got, okay, they have, wow, they almost have 200 kills, which is good, but they're about to be exposed. And just like the guards of the teeth, the way you want to kill fountain guard is with archers and flanking. They might be able to do some good damage against the servants of the eye here. It might be possible. But the courtyard are already has orcs in it. And by the looks of this battle, it looks like it's going to be a slow bleed for Gondor. A slow bleed. Now we got some reserves for Gondor, but they're hanging on by a thread, guys. And still, look at this. Even what little reserves they have, the poor Gondorian infantry is getting focused down by the enemy archers. The Olag High are just utterly unstoppable with 238 kills so far. It is a tragic sight indeed. And look at all these orcs, all these units from Mordor, the disgusting land of Mordor, sending them forward. They're still holding efficiently over here. But again, once again, as is the Peligur Marines, they are breaking. And they've got a thin line of Citadel. No, this is the Steward. The Steward, which is in Citadel Guards. And they've got another unit. Oh, there's two stewards of Gondor. How, how, how can that be? But yeah, look at this. It's an epic stand by these brave Gondorians, but it's it's going to be fruitless. It's going to be hopeless. And we do have a big blob of Gondorian soldiers here desperately fighting on. We're down to the last five minutes of this battle. And the balance of power looks like, unfortunately, like a cigarette. It's looking really bad, um, which is never a good sign. So they are breaking some orcs here. This is promising here. If the fountain guard can hold on, check this out. Let's zoom out here. If the fountain guard can hold back and this unit hold back, these reinforcements can break this unit and send in a bunch of reinforcements and maybe possibly break these orcs let's see they just need to charge in charge in send more save the fountain guard you got the general here this is boromir boromir osgiliad veterans that's cool let me check them out they look like citadel guard with uh swords it's pretty cool where is boromir let's see if he's in here he could be dead All right, so there we have it, Citadel Guard going in. 
So they are going to send in the reinforcements. This is the most promising side of the fight for uh, Gondor, and it still really doesn't look that great for them. Over on this side, the Olog High are just bashing their faces into paper, basically. And uh, they're, they've only lost one, and they're at 318 kills. 318 kills. Gondor desperately sending in their archers to try to slow down this orc wave. Oh my gosh. An epic struggle indeed. Gondor sword infantry lined up, ready to hold. Look at them go. Denethor, a steward of Gondor, fights on. But for how long? How long? Oh no, this is not a good sign. Units are breaking here. The Peligur Marines are breaking. I think I also saw... Yeah, look. They've got archers over here in a great position. Firing over the structures, the buildings of Gondor. And they're uh, softly landing. And when I say softly, I don't mean soft at all. They're landing harshly into this blob of Gondor soldiers. So not only... Are they taking on a massive wave of orcs? But they're also getting belted, hit with archer fire. Man, that is tragic. That is just tragic. And they are hanging on by a thread. Amazingly, the Pelagir Marines fight on. Look at that. They were breaking. Now they're good. But I feel like at any moment now, we're going to we're gonna have a huge chain route. And the same thing could be said over here at any moment. Dealing with Olag High. This, wait, no, I think this is a different unit. It's got 232 kills. That's, a, that's un, oh, that's unreal. Like, those all log high are just too strong. Look at this one. Did this one, yeah, this one was fighting earlier. 336 kills. Wow. So there you have it, guys. Bunch of Gondor soldiers are breaking here. They've got a general, Boromir. Is this the same unit? Is there two Boromirds on the field of battle and they still can't win? Oh no. The steward has fallen. This flank is completely open to the orcs. Now we just we just have a small unit of uh, of archers here that are gonna hold out, but not for long. And there you have it, guys. Gondor cracks, and that is the battle. Uh, do we have a hero here? That might be, uh, that look, kind of looks like Boromir. Uh, maybe it's just an officer. Uh, but that's going to wrap it up for this battle, guys. Um, I'm thinking they, they probably, and look, I know some people, I get it every time when the defenders lose or it wasn't the closest of battles. First off, guys, it's a mod, okay? So it's not perfectly balanced. You're going to have issues. I think the Olog High are a little too strong. I think they need to nerf them a little bit. Uh, maybe maybe there's a way to deal with them and the defenders just didn't do it properly. Um, but I definitely think the Olog High are a little too strong. Either that or only be able to bring one unit of them. Because having two... Like, think about it this way. Um, they had... Yeah, they had two Olog High... And together, they've got, what, almost 600 kills? 600 kills. That's a huge chunk of Gondorians gone because of those. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe they needed more projectiles, but they also needed infantry to hold the lines. Um, also, this infantry here is, like, insanely strong. They, I feel like they should be weaker than anything Gondor has. Maybe, like, obviously you have different, like, you have good troops and bad troops, but I think, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, obviously, it needs some it needs some balancing. 
but just keep that in mind also it's very difficult to get replays of this mod because it is a mod and not everybody's playing it so i'm just happy to get some replays um so this was sent in by i believe the real og crab so i think him or maybe bat i i don't know it, it's it's never like shows I, usually you would think it'd be the top person on the anyways thank you everyone to this in this battle replay thank you for the battle replay this was a lot of fun I'm definitely going to try to get some more battles out in the future. Uh, but uh, yeah, let me just show you the kills here. You can pause it and look and see. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this fun battle in Middle Earth. It was a dominating display from Mordor, but maybe Gondor can regroup and, uh, and try to turn this war around. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.